Yeah, so I guess you were talking about um, when you buy um, things to be eaten yeah. from animals. Yeah. Um, you kind of uh, like to know where it comes from. Yeah. So kind of what, what does that mean for you? Like what? Well, with, with our eggs, when me and my mum buy eggs, we always get it from local houses and we can see their chicken pens and we know that they're free range and that they're treated nice. And um, we tend to ask at the counter where if we're buying, say, beef or... Uh-huh some sort of animal then we tend to ask where it's coming from and kind of things like that but I guess we probably don't get told the truth all the time yeah Mm. yeah it's a tricky one isn't it I was a pescatarian for 12 years of my life um, and um, I used to buy free range eggs and do all those things Um, I've only been vegan for the last 4 years so this is all very new to me yeah Yeah. Um, have you guys um, looked into much about the, the male offspring in the egg industry? Yeah. Um, so there's actually an egg um, video going on here. So as you can see, this is Norfolk. Yeah. So the thing with uh, um, chickens that are raised for eggs, mm-hmm. half the eggs or half the offspring are, are male, and yeah. because they're of no use to the industry, um, yeah. they basically go down a conveyor belt, mm-hmm. and then they're sexed to decide if they're a female, and then they go off to go where the hens yeah. um, go off to produce eggs, mm-hmm. and, and the males, because they're of no use to the industry, they're byproducts. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, they're they're killed um, mm-hmm. straight away, mm-hmm. and, and and the thing that I was shocked to learn is that this doesn't matter if they're um, um, but you yes. can't get around that biological limitation. Yeah, it's disgusting. So, but the good news is we can all do something about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I, for myself, I was shocked to learn that when you're vegan, you save between two and 400 uh, lives per year. Yeah. So it seems like a big system that we just have no um, power over. Yeah. But we each have power to do that. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what do you guys think about the dairy industry? The dairy industry. Uh, I think we've got some dairy going on here for you. My mom, I know, is, is uh, she switched to almond and oat milk a long That's time brilliant. ago. That's brilliant. Sometimes it tastes better for people. Yeah, yeah. She's lactose intolerant, but she also believes that it's such a disgusting thing to have in. That, um, is it the male cars that are just kind of vanished because they're not going to be used? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned earlier about veal. Um, that does happen to some um, calves in the dairy industry. Yeah. Unfortunately, because there's so many of them, oftentimes they're killed within their first day of life. Yeah. Um, just because it's a, a byproduct, if you will. Yeah. Um, so I think in some ways, uh, and then the, you know the moms that you know five six years. Yeah. Um, you know they kind of face a similar fate. So, and I guess you mentioned kind of knowing where our food comes from. This represents 98 percent of our supply. Yeah. So even when it's free range, organic. Yeah. Humane. That's this. It's all the same, same uh, source. So I, I think you know it, these industries are incredibly powerful at yeah. marketing these strategies. They know that they're under threat, and that's why they come up with these these labels. Yeah. So um, I've got some information. I can give you some cards, and um, maybe when you're ready, you can kind of look into it more yourselves and you know, make your own conclusions. Do you guys have any other questions? I can tell you guys are really keyed into it, and, and um, I can tell you've got good hearts. And I think all you all you have to do is follow your heart, and you'll naturally reach you know a conclusion that's compassionate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome, guys. Oh, thank you so much for stopping. It really means a lot. Thank you. Cheers. Take care, guys. Bye. So that was the interview. In my opinion, they were in the contemplation phase, meaning they've considered some of the issues around animal agriculture, but don't necessarily um, see a reason to act. So I focused on reiterating the ethical considerations. If you think the chat was effective, let me know in the comments below. Um, If there's some strategies you uh, think that were particularly effective, um, let me know that too, and maybe some things that I could work on. So really appreciate any feedback you have. Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.